Hi there, I'm Professor Blackmore, and I want to welcome you to ProfessorBlackmore.com, where our goal is to empower results through real productivity. And if you haven't been here before, I like to ask that you please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. And please also follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Well, today I want to talk to you about OneNote and law office productivity, more specifically, how to create a OneNote law firm notebook. Well, a while ago, I had a post about OneNote and law firm productivity on my social media platform, and one of my law firm social media friends left a comment on the post and it said we run our entire law firm off of OneNote. Great for small firms to track everything. Now some of you may be asking well okay what does this mean we can run our law firm on OneNote? Well I'm gonna show you. So now here on my desktop version of OneNote I have a sample of my OneNote law firm notebook. My sample Balsa Lady Law Firm LLC OneNote notebook. So here are some of the sections in my law firm notebook. And these are just sample sections, but you can have any kind of sections in your OneNote law firm notebook. And keep in mind, for all of my other business type social media friends, this does not have to be just for law firms. You can use this very powerful Microsoft resource for any type of business firm. And so just by way of example, here in my law firm OneNote notebook, you can see I may wanna have an administration section here. And you can have all of your, for example, accounts payables and receivables files there. And I can expand this file if I want to, or I can retract any of these sections in a OneNote notebook. So now here are my accounts receivables, my attorney bar information, my e-filing information. Maybe I want to have a section in here for my passwords. Whatever it may be, you can create any type of sections for your OneNote law firm notebook. Then I can have my case files separate it if I want by civil case files, criminal case files, family law case files, bankruptcy case files, business law case files, etc. And so I can take a look at this particular sample civil case file. And so okay, now these are all of the sections in my civil case file. And just for example, your pleadings can be broken down by plaintiff's complaint and defendant's answer. And you can have all of your discovery sections like your discovery responses or your discovery that you may have propounded, your deposition notices, etc. And then I can retract this if I don't want to see the entire file expanded. And then here I also have my deposition notebook. Now I did a separate video on creating a deposition notebook. And so you can go and review my deposition OneNote notebook where I showed you how to set up your OneNote deposition notebook. And as you can see here, there is an index for my deposition notebook. And so I can go through this notebook. I can go specifically to each section of this notebook just by using this index. So this would have the calendar or scheduling information for the deposition setting. And if I want to go back out here, I can view this in a way that will snap the view of the page to the viewing area of my screen so that I can see the whole thing. And then I can look at the deposition notice if I want to. And there straight away is my deposition notice. And when I click on this, you'll see there straight away is my deposition notice. In addition, I can go straight over to my notes that I may have. And so these may be my 
cross-examination notes for that deposition. And so then you can see all of my preparation for the deposition. Now, for all of you insurance defense attorneys, if you want, you can transcribe a quick note to your claims adjuster. And so as you can see here in this notebook, this is just a quick note that I transcribed on the way back from the deposition while those details were still fresh in my memory. And so here I can replay the note. In addition, we were able to secure testimony from Officer Harrison establishing that the plaintiff was required to mitigate her own damages by stopping at the stop sign before proceeding into the intersection. Even more so, because your insurance right away was not impeded or otherwise governed by any traffic lights or stop sign. But you can see the note that I actually transcribed on the day of that deposition. So I recorded the audio here as I was transcribing the audio of this note, the dictation feature of OneNote also dictated. And so to do that, all you have to do is just to turn on this dictation button and I can start by saying today, I had the opportunity to take the deposition of the police officer, Officer Daryl Harrison, who reported to the scene of the accident that has made the basis of the lawsuit born out of the claim against your insured Mario Ramirez, period. Okay, so I can stop that recording and then I can replay the audio. And in addition to that audio, as you can see, I also have a dictated typewritten copy of that note as well. To take the deposition, of the police officer, Officer Daryl Harrison, who reported to the scene of the accident, made the basis of the lawsuit born out of the claim against your insured Mario Ramirez, period. So what I also want to show you is how I am looking at this notebook right here. Now this is the desktop version of OneNote. You can tell this is the desktop version because up at the top you'll see where it says OneNote Windows 10 or it may say something like that up at the top. Whereas with your online versions over in the left hand corner it'll just say OneNote. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to my mobile device so you can see that I can have access to this notebook on all versions of OneNote wherever I am and I can see everything because it syncs immediately through the cloud through OneNote's program that holds all of the files called OneDrive. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to tap your OneNote icon on your pad or whatever remote device that you're using. And so I want to go and I want to find the notebook that I am looking at right now. So I can search my notebooks. So here is my Winters versus Ramirez deposition notebook here in my law firm civil case file Winters versus Ramirez. And so one thing I want to show you about this is that you can use this index and I show you how to create a deposition notebook you can review that video if you want to learn how to make your own deposition notebook but here is my deposition notebook and here is my index and so it has all of my tabs in my deposition notebook are right here for quick access in my deposition notebook section uh, here and so what I want to do is I want to go over to my note section and so I can go right here and if I want to open that link and click open link. And then it takes me straight away to the deposition notes section of my notebook here. And I'm just going to go to the section where we were. And as you can see, that information has already synced over to my online version 
of OneNote. And so here is my dictation note, but also here is my audio note. And so I want to go ahead and listen to that. And so as you can see, you have access to all of your law firm files and they are available to you anywhere you are on any type of device that you're using available to anyone in your office that you share the notebook with anyone on your team can access these notes access anything in your law firm notebook and that information will be available to them immediately so if i dictate this note and there's someone in my office that's sharing this notebook, they'll be able to see the dictation of the note. They'll also be able to see the audio. I may have assistants back in the office who can take this information, copy and paste it into a Word document and easily get that deposition summary off to the claims adjuster. Now, I may have some of my plaintiff's attorney friends out here. Don't, don't. Be upset that I did not do an example for you the next time I will do an example just for my plaintiff's lawyer friends but anyway okay, so now you can also see all of my notes here and so you can also see here that I have an actual diagram that I had the police officer to draw at the time of the deposition so that if I wanted to I could possibly maybe at the time of trial replay this diagram or refresh the witness's memory about his prior testimony at the deposition and so as you can also see here I may have any type of exhibits or photographs that I don't already have as evidence in my file. It may be a photograph that the police officer brought with him along to the deposition. I can include that also in my notes until I receive a copy of that exhibit along with the deposition transcript. So when I get ready to send my note off to the claims adjuster, I'll have here a copy of that particular photograph. But as you can see here in OneNote, if you want to replay a drawing, all you have to do is go over to your drawing and then all you have to do is click replay. And if you just want to play a portion of this page, you can select the area of the page that you want to replay or you can just click replay everything on the page. Now, if I just want to play a section of this, maybe it's just only a section of this that may be relevant to whatever question I may be asking, I can go to that particular area, click replay, and if I just want to replay this portion right here, and it'll just replay that specific portion of the drawing that I want to replay. And so as you can see, this is very handy for times like these. We may have to, on a moment's notice, switch over to remote access to our law offices. This will be very handy in being able to allow you to be able to access all of your law firm files and being able to share all of that information with everyone on your team. And so just like I was able to see all of that information before on the desktop version of my notebook, all of that information is also available here. For example, if I wanna take a look at that plaintiff's complaint, I have the ability to be able to have a printout of that entire uh, complaint where I can read it right here on my remote device or uh, OneNote also includes a copy of that document if I want to go out and maybe make a copy of it to send to someone else. And so here is a copy 
of the PDF version. You can view any of my prior videos about how to make your own law firm or deposition or motion or even my OneNote e-trial notebook. Thank you for joining me to learn about these game-changing law office productivity tips. And if you've enjoyed these tips, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you like to purchase a copy of my OneNote e-trial notebook, motion hearing notebook, deposition notebook, please visit me on my website at professorblackmore.com. And I wanna ask that you please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell so you won't miss any of my tips. And please also follow me on TikTok and Instagram.